Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did my first test on this Epicurean Classic stove from Flat Cat Gear. It's a burner with a simmering. It's actually a burner, not a stove, but that's just my opinion. Um, anyway, I did a test on this, getting water to boil and then see how long it would keep it simmering. I got a comment from Paranoid 092 where he said, I think you should try a comparison. Espec cube from new to burnout without the simmering. Then do the same test with the simmering. To be honest, I can only see you getting 10 to 15 percent extra burn time with the simmering at most. Uh, what Paranoid is saying is true. I really should have done a test just with the ESPIT to see how it long it burns, how soon it gets water to boil and how long it burns. But I was so anxious to see how the simmering worked that I kind of jumped right into the second test. So what I'm going to do today is the test that Paranoid is asking for. I'll get my water prepped, get it up to temperature, and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is all ready. Let me get this lit. Okay, there we go. Okay, the wire stand. I have two cups of water sitting at 61 degrees. And again, this is the test that Paranoid 092, 092 said that I should do. I'm going to let this come to a boil, mark the time, and then just let it run out without the simmering and see how long it runs. So let's see where this goes. Hey, this is the flames after it's been running for almost two minutes without the simmering. Okay, we have 210, 212 at 721 okay that was two cups of water starting at 60 61 degrees came to a boil in seven minutes and 21 seconds yesterday when I did this test I got seven minutes 39 seconds so that's pretty close to the same now I'll just let this run out and see how long this burns without the simmering Okay, this is the flames after the water has already come to a boil and it's you know running past that boiling time just waiting for it to run out here we go it looks like the flame is just about ready to give up the ghost the water's not boiling now it's the temperature is dropping but there's still just a little bit of a flame there still hanging in I don't know if you can see it on that camera. Uh, the water's dropping, so let's call it at 1340. And the temperature was, looked like 211, but it was, no, 209, let's say. Okay, let's see what the bottom of the pot looks like. your regular espit soot maybe not quite as heavy as what I've seen it on some there is a definite smell of espit in the air here without the simmering I don't know if you can see the glow there the shine rather a little bit of left leftover uh, juice whatever you want to call it from the espit it looks like it's about ready for me to clean this out Okay, so that was a test that Paranoid092 asked for where I 
put one aspid cube in here and just let it burn all the way through. Two cups of water starting at 60, 61 degrees. Came to a boil in 7 minutes 21 seconds versus 7 minutes 39 seconds. Close enough to be the same. And then to run out on this without the simmering was 13 minutes 40 seconds. With the simmering yesterday, it was 16 minutes and 16 seconds. Like that. So I thank Paranoid092 for that one. I have a couple of tests still coming up here. One request that I've had is to do this same test but with the simmering all the time and let's see how high the water, how hot the water gets with the simmering and see how long it lasts. And then another one was uh, Catskill Mountain Girl asked me to do the simmering but using a pot stand around it similar to what you do with baking. Uh, put water in here with the simmering going and see how high uh, how hot the water will get when I was doing my second camera shots here where I have a camera setting like this not quite that close but you can't see it on this camera I could feel the heat coming across here so I am losing heat across the table we'll have to see what a windscreen does with that Okay, so I thank Paranoid092 for his comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.